So what I'm going to do is show you how to use some simple shapes and lines to create the letters um, that will hopefully spell your name. So as you can see, I've started out with Mrs. And I have just used the tools that are up here, standard tools that you get on Google SketchUp. So what we're going to do first of all is just move this into a better position so I can see it. So I'm going to pan, move it along, and then I'm going to orbit around so it's a little bit more like you would see on a page. So the first letter I need to create is an M. So I'm going to use a rectangle. Now up here you've got your shapes tool. On this arrow you've got more options. So as we are already on the circle we're going to select the rectangle. And I'm going to use this pencil to create columns on either side of the M. And then create the top part of the M. Now, hopefully you can see there's an M inside there. What I don't need is the lines around the outside and the construction lines on the inside. So I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase first the outside parts I don't need. And then those construction lines. So I've got my M. Now the next letter I need is an I. That should be one of the most straightforward letters. It's simply a rectangle. The next letter I need is an R. So I'm going to create it the same way that I created the one you can see, um, which is a rectangle to start out with. And then that's got a circle inside it, so let's draw a circle. The circle needs to be bigger than that, so to get rid of that, I just pressed Ctrl Z and that got rid of my last, the last thing I did. And then using my pencil tool, I'm going to create the uh, other parts. And then delete out of it so I don't need. So I find it's always easier to do the outside first. And then you can see which bits you want to get rid of inside. Alright, let's zoom in to do this one. So I used the magnifying glass and then just clicked it and dragged my mouse. There we go, and then I'll pivot to that. Uh, the next one is an E. Hopefully, you should have worked out by now that if I draw three rectangles, if they were in the right place, then I've got two lines I need to leave, and that will give me my E. And then the last letter I need is an S. Now, that's slightly more complicated. Uh, I'm going to start out drawing a figure of eight, uh, which is how I did the last one. So, let's create a circle. Put a circle within it. And then do the same at the top. Tool. Create a couple of lines and then delete out the bits I don't need. If I zoomed in for this, I think. And if I zoom out, hopefully you can see that that spells Mrs. Myers. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make them three-dimensional. So I'm going to make them taller. Um, just pan around. Okay. 
Now, what you hopefully can see is that my existing letters have got a height, but my new letters that I've just shown you how to draw haven't. So, if we zoom in. Now, introduction of a new tool. So, this is the Push Me Call Me tool. Um, and if I click on it, hopefully you can see in this corner it's growing and shrinking um, and amending the, uh, the shapes. So, what I'm going to do is when it's dotted, it means that that's the bit that you're going to select. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to pull it up. Now, because I've already got some letters, I'm just going to go to where my existing letters say endpoint and then they'll all be the same height. So, I can do that with that one. That bit. Okay. Um, the last one. Um, so now I've got three dimensional letters. And the last stage would be to colour them. So I'm going to follow this purple, turquoise, pink pattern. And all we need to use is the fill bucket. Now, here you can have all sorts of different materials. Um, don't have to have colours. Uh, so you can have carpet have metal and um, pick whatever you like uh, I just quite like these colors so I'm going to use them um, and I've currently got this one selected that's that one there and I'm just going to fill it in now the only thing is is you have to zoom in and you'll have to rotate it around to be able to see all of the different sides of your shape so if I do all of the ones that are visible And um, when I rotate it around, what you'll see is that there are still sides that haven't been coloured. So let's just select the bucket again. And last side. Rotate it around. So let's try again. Um, and then I'll be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a moment, finish it off, and then come back to you when I've got my final, final word. So as you can see, I've coloured the rest of them in. Um, hopefully now you can see that all of the letters are three-dimensional. Um, so now it's your turn. Have a go and see if you can write your name.